I've been at Darwin Terracotta for around a year. I um, initially was supposed to do a three-month residency. Quite quickly, once I came into the factory, I realised, for me, that that wasn't going to be long enough, um, both for the way that I work, but also the way that the factory operates. It can take three months for a piece of work to go through production, from it being formed and, and the, the moulds being made, to it being cast and drying, and then gl glaze production, and then the actual firing at the end. So I spent time in the different departments. Um, I spent quite a lot of time down here initially in the plaster shop. People were really generous with their time and their skills and teaching me how to run plaster. I always end up coming back to those initial ideas, but sometimes I need to go around and return to them. There was this sort of sense of, oh, I should make something big. Um, because there's the opportunity to. The way things are done is it's done on multiples. Um, so, you know, something might not appear big in the factory, but by the combination and the amount of components, it becomes large. It's interesting in that way because you never really, you never see anything complete here. You only, you see things in fragments all the time. Like even as it, as it leaves, it's in fragments and then gets completed as it, as it leaves the factory. I'm quite interested in it the fragments. I think I'm quite interested in the fact that you don't see it completed, you don't see anything complete, but I can go and visit a, like a, a building in Manchester or go down to London or somewhere and you can see the, the finished. And there's something quite exciting about that. Those pieces being built in here and to going through and being glazed and leaving the factory and then to see them out in, in public uh, space, I suppose. They're used to working with artists and they're used to artists coming in with an idea that is then put into production. So they're used to someone coming in with the completed, finished work in their mind or with, in drawing, and then it gets put into production. Whereas I suppose the difference is coming in and doing a residency here is that you're not coming in with a preconceived idea of what you're gonna make. That's sort of not, not really the point of, of the residency. It's about responding to being here. It's, it's not just coming here and making work, you kind of build relationships with people. So it is odd. That's always odd when you finish a residency or any sort of project is that, I mean, I hope I will still sustain some of those and still come up and visit or maybe make work here in the future, who knows? So I hope it's not a, a sort of end point in that sense, but I suppose I won't be walking through the door in a, maybe in the same sort of casual way that I do currently. <laughs> So I started looking at the drains and the sumps and the skips and the things that, that are thrown out um, and some of the more incidental things that happen. Yeah, there's a level of interest and intrigue, I suppose, rather than sort of dismissing it because it's, you know, very different. It's kind of, sometimes people keep things and like, oh, I thought you might like this. And, um, and then I've got other little bits to work with and that's really nice. So being here for that length of time means that I can have those conversations and allow for those things to happen. It's almost the hardest thing is going to be the work to find its final form in some ways. It would be nice to leave something but, and also make something, uh, I don't know that it doesn't have to be removed to become the work, to become work, it doesn't have to leave the factory. To respond to this place and the people here and um, the time working here, it would kind of be nice to mark it in some way.